It's another warm one, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I'm sweating just standing here. Now, uh, I'm going to take a camera out. Okay. Set a camera up, fill up that feeder. Oh, right. And i got yeah. some things to do out in the woods. It's a lot cooler out there anyway. Yeah. It's five, that's one of the five things you can do with the tree. What's that? Use it for shade. That's right. You can. All right, I'm going to head out there. Okay. And I'll see you in a bit. Thanks. Archie's enjoying his day over there. So welcome back everyone, Mike here. It is another hot one today. It's about 95 degrees right now. But uh, tomorrow, actually tonight, we're calling for some rain. And then this weekend, it's supposed to be just in the 80s, which will seem pretty nice after the last couple weeks. So I'm out here at the uh, feeder, out in front of the mini cabin. I brought a couple hundred pounds of corn with me. Uh, this feeder holds 600 pounds, and they emptied that in about a week and a half, two weeks. Yeah, something like that. So there's a lot of activity out here. I haven't been out here very often, so I don't know what's going on. So I decided to bring a camera out here so I can kind of see what's going on out here. Here in Pennsylvania, I think we can feed until... Uh, middle of august end of august something like that so this will only be up for about another month and then i'll take it down and i know a lot of people they don't they don't understand you know they say oh you're trying to bait the deer it has nothing to do with that we don't do anything illegal here when it comes to hunting uh you know if you wanted to which i don't want to you could shoot a deer every day around here we see them every single day so if i was that type of person i wouldn't waste the time and money to bait deer in because they're everywhere you could get one anytime you want but uh, that's not how we roll at all for us it's more about this whole process i like seeing the deer i think it's good for the herd uh i don't know it's just something we enjoy doing it's the whole process of hunting and uh the older i get the less i even care if i even get anything but uh we just enjoy all things related to it but anyway i brought the bx out with that corn and i got a new camera i'll show you that it is a wild game, kind of an inexpensive one, but I've had luck with these wild games before. I don't spend a lot of money on trail cameras, but uh, they just keep getting better every year. Most of them do. Sometimes there's a few out there that aren't so great, but uh, technology has come so far on these things. I remember years ago, you know, you get those batteries or those cameras. I started off with one that took 35 millimeter film. You know, and it just was a nightmare. Out of 36 pictures, you may get one that you could kind of tell what it was. And then when they went digital, you had those ones that take like 8D batteries and they'd last like four days. Now these things, you last thousands of pictures on one set of batteries. So we'll get this set up over here. And uh, probably over the next couple weeks, what I'll do, I'll drop some pictures in at the end of the videos or something. We'll see what's been coming in here. This is the Wild Game Scrape Line 16 megapixel, uh, less than three quarter second trigger speed. I've definitely seen ones that are faster than that. 
75 foot illumination range and it comes with a uh, 16 gigabyte card and batteries. Six batteries. And the card. Eight batteries. Snuck up on me there. Card in. Power buttons on the left. It's got a nice screen on it. I don't know how well you can see that. All right, we'll set the time and date. All right, I'm just going to set it for uh, still pictures, high resolution. And then with a 15 second delay in between pictures. So that'll get us a lot of pictures. Boy, that one really blends in. I'm just going to tie this strap up so it doesn't uh, blow around in the wind. Now I just need to turn it on. All right, I'm gonna leave this trash lay right here. I'll come back up and get it in a little bit. And I'll also probably haul a little of this firewood in, might as well while I'm out here. And now I'm gonna head down to uh, Maple Grove, I call it. It's way down that way. Do a little brush hogging on some trails. After we get those trails brush hogged down there, like I said, I come back up, I grab a little bit of this firewood here, take it over to the yard, and then I need to uh, bring the door out for the mini cabin. Uh, I've had the door sitting in the garage for a while. And this weekend I'd like to get that door installed and finish that thing up. It's almost there, but I want, definitely want to get that door installed. Eva wants to spend the night out here, but uh, she doesn't want to until there's a door. I just have a temporary door on there, which I get that. So we'll get that taken care of. So Melissa and I both have been using the uh, BX23S mowing trails with this uh, four-foot brush hog. Works really well. Uh, we have a you know big brush hog for the MX5400, but it's just a lot taller, uh, wider. This works really well on the trails. And it's balanced out really well with the loader on the front, brush hog on the back. Some of our trails are steep up and down. I don't have a lot of side hill lean, but I can tell you, you know, uphills and downhills, this setup right here works really well.
tie the broken promises and throw them out into the wind. I'm not coming back again. Cause I know the way to your front step. Alright, this is what I call uh, Maple Grove down in here, just because they're all maple trees. It's really nice down here, and I just have a trail that kind of loops around. Uh, if you go straight ahead over there, the brick house is over there about, uh, I don't know, 800 feet away, something like that. It's a brick house over there, and this trail loops around. Goes back up on the hill, and then like the mini cabin... It's out that way, probably 1,200 feet, 1,500 feet, something like that. Tell you what, the wind's picking up a little bit. They are saying maybe some rain this afternoon. I'm going to head back towards the mini cabin now, uh, mow that trail going back up the hill. That four-footer on the uh, BX23S, it works really well for these trails. I think I mentioned that the other day. You know, no matter what you do, a uh, six-footer is not wide enough. And you're going to have to make two passes. So the four-footer works really well for these trails. Yeah, we'll head back up on the hill now and uh, pick up some uh, firewood on the way back. People are probably going to be asking what that blue barrel is for. I need to get that out of there. Uh, that's for when I bought this piece of property uh, for the uh, pit and perk test. I needed that barrel for some water, and I keep forgetting to get it, but I'll get that out of here soon. This hill here, it's steep.
All right, we'll head back over to the house now, split this uh, little bit of wood, throw that trash out, and then I will uh, put, probably put the forks on and bring that door out for the uh, mini cabin. All right, I'm gonna go get that uh, door out of the garage, take to the mini cabin, oh, yeah. and uh, right now Melissa has some birthday wishes. What are these bugs? I was trying to think of it last night. It's not a locust. I don't know what it is. Maybe they know. Yeah, can you hear that? Not then, right now. Like but... the other night, we whistled or something and they all stopped. <laughs> yeah, I'll go get that door while you do the birthday wishes. Okay, June 20th, Jack turned 50. Happy birthday, Jack. June 23rd, Jacob Demont. Demas. I don't know how old he turned. Happy birthday, Jacob, from June 23rd. 
June 27th, Madison White turned 13. Happy birthday, Madison. I'm trying to change it up a little. Sunglasses. June 30th, Jesse Miller turned 27. Happy birthday, Jesse. You share a birthday with Hunter. July 1st, happy birthday to Canada. Oh, Canada, happy birthday. July 1st, Steve Gunther turned 62. Happy birthday, Steve. And July 1st, Gilson Piera, good friend of ours. Gilson, happy birthday. We wish him a happy birthday and a message. And um, yeah, so we're just behind, trying to catch up. July 2nd, Brandon Agnew turned 30. Happy birthday, Brandon. July 4th, Christian, I'm gonna mess this up. Mitavich, and I'm sure that's wrong. But Christian, he turned 28. Happy birthday, Christian. July 6th, Colby turned 11. And also July 6th, Parker turned 11. They're twins. Happy birthday, Colby and Parker. Or should I say, happy birthday, Parky, Parker and Colby. I think it's great, twins, but I think they each should have their individual birthday wishes. Okay, oh, George, George Tyrone turned 75 on July 6th as well. So happy birthday, George. And then a happy birthday to Jesse Hudgens and a happy birthday to Skip Mine, Mintier. Mintier, M-I-N-T-E-R. Skip, happy birthday. I just am not sure of those dates, so I just wrote it down. I have sticky notes and I compiled all my sticky notes into one paper. July 7th, Ron Oshevetsky. Oshevetsky. Happy birthday, Ron. I think that's everything to get caught up till now. <laughs> Listen, I do my best. Hannah helps out. But, you know, these are coming to us from messages on Instagram or messages on Facebook or an email or even sometimes in comments. I found a few comments on Morgan's Off the Leash. Um, in fact, go check out Morgan's Off the Leash. You're going to love the most recent video about to publish, and that's the uh, series Meet the Morgans. Yep, Melissa Morgan. I'm up. So check it out. It'll be publishing soon. And um, thanks so much. So this is the uh, door for the mini cabin. I built this a while back. I think it looks pretty good. What do you think? It's a nice door. Yeah, I'm impressed. I got some hardware for it. I'm going to uh, carry that out. Hopefully this weekend. Yeah, at some point I'll uh, I'll get this door up and the rest of that trim and okay. railing. I've got all kind of stuff going on around do you need here. Help? No, I can take this out. Tonight is uh, pizza night, isn't it? It is pizza night. And Ty's night, Ty Day, got moved to Sunday. Okay, good. He's going to spend the night Sunday. All right, well, I'm going to run this door out. All right. And I'll be back in a bit. See ya. I just uh, leaned the door in there against the temporary door to give you some idea what it'll look like, but I think it looks great. Should work out really well. I want to take a look at these railings here. I put these up, uh, you know, they were green. I'll tell you what, the joints still look good and everything. Yeah. Now I just need to finish it. By the way, if you didn't see the last video, I'll put that up above. You can check it out if you want to. Uh, but in that video, we talked about the new building that we're going to be building. I'm so excited for that. It's a uh, 40 by 72. be a big garage, a uh, game room, like a home gym for Melissa and the kids. It's going to be really nice. And they're going to be starting on it in about 8 to 10 weeks at the most. i got a lot of work to do before uh, they get here. You know, get rid of all the trees, all the stumps. So if you're into that kind of stuff, click the subscribe button and hit that little bell icon, you'll get notifications when we upload. And in between those videos, we'll be doing the sawmill videos, the firewood videos, and everything else we have going on. I was out here in the peace and quiet, right? And then all of a sudden, that's a pleasant surprise right there. Hey, I'm taking reservations for whoever wants to stay at the new cabin. Oh, are you? <laughs> yeah. Just contact me.
He has to be on a leash. He's too fast and strong. Well, you want to wrap this video up for me? Yeah. If you like these videos, click the thumbs up. Comment down below. We'd love to hear from you. And be sure, be sure that you're subscribed so you'll get notifications when we publish a video. We'll see you on the next one.